all um, love Jeffrey and we all want to marry him. Yeah, I think I know the one that he likes best, and that's her. I don't think I'd uh, get married too early. <clears throat> I like to have a full life first and got to meet people. And, before I... Yeah, before you go and yeah. meet yourself to a family. Marriage just means a different thing to me. I've still got my ideals about marriage. I don't know what it's all about. Sue was 24 when she married Billy. They had two children, William and Catherine. I think that to get married young, there must be things that you miss. You must miss that crucial stage of being yourself because the minute you get married, you're no longer a, a single being. You're a partnership, and that should be the idea behind it. By the time she was 35, she and Billy had divorced. I've never sat down and thought, um, well, what was it? Was it this? Was it that? I just knew it wasn't working. I mean, there have been relationships when I could have, could have settled, but they didn't feel quite right. So I've always come away and pulled away and just waited until the right one come along, <laughs> if they ever do. Don't you remember At 42, when we filmed Sue in the karaoke bar, she brought Glenn along to watch her sing. We've just met and things are going well, but now obviously things are going very well. <laughs> Is this love? <laughs> oh, I think so, yeah. I mean, we've, we've known each other for a long, long time, before the seven years, and we've always, always liked each other. It's good looking. He's very good looking. He's not bad, is he? Everyone says he looks like uh, Paul Weller. Mm, that's true or not, especially now he's growing his hair. Susan, most of all, likes Leslie from all before. Yeah. You see? <laughs> she keeps changing her mind, though. Yeah, I don't know which one, really. It's everything's not, everything's not that cut and dried. It's not either career or family or... But it's what's in the middle. I mean, am I just going to carry on as I am now for... and end up... <laughs> <laughs> on the shelf. Oh, am I just going to get married? Could be any day. I've been married and I've not got that urgency. Glenn, we, we sort of say maybe we will. We're engaged. We, you know, we're committed. We bought a house together. And to me, that's a big commitment. Every house needs money spending on it when you move in. To have a wedding, you've got to, you've got to put some cash into it. When I got married, the primary reason was because I wanted to have a child. Uh, the two, to me, went together. Have you and Glenn thought of having your own child? Well, Glenn got with me when we got together, or I should say, when, when I was in my 40s, and you don't have a baby when you've just started a relationship. I didn't want to do all that again. I would have loved to have had a baby, because he would make a wonderful parent. But the timing was off. So she's your baby? She's my new baby, yeah. Yeah, my kids are my babies, but she's my new baby. So she's our baby, <laughs> mine and Glenn's. <laughs> she's a wonderful terrier, she's got such character. What does she do? Well, she watches TV and with us, she likes got her own favourite programmes, you know. And she adores Rolf Harris, absolutely adores Animal Hospital. And if she's at the top of the house and the music comes on, she runs down the stairs and puts herself in front of the TV for Ralph Harris.